The Kyle Chronicles. Episode number two. He owed you! Episode two starts off with everybody's favorite character, Kyle, also known as Big EKL, also known as that one white guy with a huge penis, also known as Kibble, also known as White Boy Kyle. Kyle walks up to the convenience store that's close to his house, and he sees that the big-time nationwide lottery jackpot is up to $641 million. So, being the perpetual optimist and dreamer that he is, Kyle decides, fuck screw it, I'll spend $2 to potentially win $641 million. Fast forward to 11 p.m. that evening. Big EKL turns on the telly to watch the lottery numbers being drawn. And wouldn't you know, that lucky prick wins the fucking jackpot. He chooses to remain anonymous throughout the process of collecting his newly acquired wealth, because he knows how the rats tend to come out of the woodwork when money is involved. Oh, he owed you! So, now the part of the episode that you've all been waiting for. Since everybody and their whore of a mother is dying to know how a playboy pimp mac daddy realist of OGs like Kyle spends 641 million buckaroos, I'm about to tell you. Now, we all know that a smooth nigga like Kibble doesn't have to pay for pussy, but he did spend a couple million on vagina, just to feel a sense of humiliation in the skeezers that he took on a one-way trip to Pound Town. After making it rain on approximately 167 dirty sluts, he set his sights on his deepest and darkest desires. And that is the desire to literally own another human being. And he didn't stop until he paid cold hard mother boinking cash to buy someone. Hell, he actually wanted to purchase two people, and that's exactly what the bunk he did. Oh, he owed you! Since Mr. Vince Loparo was already kissing Kyle's unwiped ass after he found out that Buggy KL was now a multimillionaire. He knew that it would take little to no effort to fulfill his fantasy of purchasing another person. And, while Kyle was well aware that there were billions of options out there that were better than Vince, he realized that specifically buying v -E would ultimately be the most rewarding and satisfying experience. So yeah, he literally bought that fucking prick a couple of days ago. Kyle, aka huge peep guy. He's already forced Vinny to wipe his diarrhea-covered butthole with one-ply toilet paper. Just to punish him for actually buying that cheap-ass bathroom tissue for years. While Big EKL contemplates who to purchase next, he's going to throw an insane house party tomorrow, and invite everyone that Vince knows. Throughout the entire duration of the shindig, Kyle is going to force old cheap skate lobe RO to lay by the front door on his stomach and pretend to be an expensive bearskin rug until the party is over with. The end.